All right, I need to start warming back up into doing the longer recordings as we get closer to summer, because I do need to catch up on the tier list. It's going to be a struggle, and when I have to start next year's tier list is going to really be a pain, but is what it is. So let's get back on track and start talking with Satanta's skill buff for Lilum Harlem rerun. I Satanta isn't the best saber welfare, not anymore. Yori is just like way too good, and like he's just too functional in the meta. Uh, Satanta just has issues and has too much of a niche that you can't you can't really use him generally, and not see the difference between him being used neutrally as in like no uh no niche versus niche it's just it the gap is just like just too big by himself he's not a bad servant on my tier list even without this buff i ranked him at an a for welfare servants i think like if you have him super solid it's just you have hokusai saber and you have iori like if you had to choose between the two or the three, Iori's coming out on top. Let's not even talk about Saber Liz. That, that's just a joke. Base attack, really high for a welfare. Almost at 10k. Literally just one off it. HP, it's it's okay. Nothing nothing super amazing, but I mean like this is comparable to like the lower end for five stars. Definitely low end five star. Star weight, star gen, normal saber numbers, MP charge at healthy at 0.83. Like how we used to always have saber MP gain, even have the two hits art cards to go with it. But he has four hit quick cards and a five hit extra attack. So his refund, it wasn't like the biggest concern, but it was still a concern because he's quick. Like, these are not great arts cards that are just okay. Like, they're only a good because you're you're technically supposed to be critting on them. But that's not secured with Satanta. He's not guaranteed to have the stars to force the crits. Because all it takes is you have the star weight, but you have too many cards and not enough stars. And then no one, no card crits. So just something you have to be aware of. Uh start like he he can kind of start a little too slow the overall he looks modern like the, there was never an issue like i already saying before this buff he was already like good like this buff just like cleans him up just a little bit first skill 20 percent attack 20 stars and a full cleanse literally like three skills in one from year one but like all better charisma no no, no not charisma but charisma numbers, current charisma numbers, disengage, instinct, all in one skill. Like not, not, nothing bad. There's nothing bad with that when it's on a five turn. If this was like a seven, oh hell no, hell no. This would have at least had to be, both of these would have had to be thirty. If they wanted to even think about making it um, more than five. This is the skill that got buffed. The reason it like it always wasn't that good was because wild beast enemies. Uh, uh, if we look at what servants actually have this, it's Taiga and two berserkers. And I, I guess Lobo and Koi and Sky, but like this one you can't use a berserker for. This one you you can't. So it's like it's hard to recommend Satanta when his niche at best is going to be neutral meaning like with a hundred percent power mod you're you're doing the same damage that like an effective class would do against them essentially like you're not, and that's excluding like any mp buffs or any other kind of buffs that would just like amp the damage up even higher like it, it's not if it was an assassin that had anti anti wild beast little bit better 
because you have three riders that are wild beasts but saber it's a set like you you just don't see too many like use cases that has always been his issue with wild beasts like coy and sky is a little the same but like she she actually does it actually does show up more than you think for her but this you have to actively like hers is a benefit and just a passive this is a skill you have to know uh and also the quick wealth is just like low 20 percent it, like it makes sense for a welfare but it's still like 20 percent when this isn't always going to be active is a big ask they change it basically uh Satanta has blaze but you do not have to level this skill to have the 10 percent battery any attack he does including extra attack and mp will give him 10 percent battery at the end of the action so think koi and skaya when she pops a second skill on someone and they pop a vasa card they just get 10 percent it's literally the same shit. uh or if you have muramasa almost the same shit. yeah it's almost the same as those two except like this actually works for mp more muscles works for extra attack too uh but this just cleans up his performance and if he's not critting he's more likely to get closer to at least 50 at least 50 percent if not like be the last little thing to get him to 100. But this just helps with his uptime it is very likely you'll use every like bit of this like you should not like this part of the this part of the skill should never like go away because you didn't click hard the only way that happens is if people are dying and your like hard rotation is fucked like and you get like back-to-back -back turns where you literally can't do anything and even still like if you're able to get the mp you're still able to get this off at, at least a little bit Third skill, uh, PFA, but worse, but also better. So it starts off with 60% chances for 30% crit damage and 300% star weight. But as you level the skill, the chance like pretty much goes away and you get an extra 10% 10, 10 crit damage and 100% uh, star weight. Both are separate activation chances before 10. So you could get star weight and not crit damage, or you could technically, the chance isn't high, but there is a chance that even at level nine, you could pop this skill and only get the two dodges. There, There's still a chance. It's not a high chance, but how many times have you had a 90% uh, crit chance on a card and it didn't crit? That That's the odds you're rolling with here. For skills, it always seems like it doesn't brick, but you know, gotta be careful. Doesn't really have passives. It's mostly it's mostly just magic resist, which it, it's better to have magic resist than not have it. I'd rather have a less chance of taking debuffs than like always get debuffed. Like no matter how small the percentage is. Pens, you should have all of these unlocked. Uh, simply because he's welfare. If you went through this event, you really shouldn't be hurting for coins at all. Like, it, you kind of don't have an excuse why you can't uh, max the offense. Like, you could also go for 120, but that is a different kind of investment. Only the true crew fans are gonna do that. And MP. Ignores evasion for one turn, activates first. Defense Pierce, which is very nice to have as a passive for the MP. It is not a buff added. It only works with the MP. Thus, if you have buff block on, buff block isn't going to stop you from piercing defense. Uh, it will stop you getting the evasion. Uh, ignore evasion, though. Sure head. And then o OC is uh, defense down. Base 20%, which is a nice number. That is a very good number to start with. Um, a lot of recent servants, like uh, Dante's, starts at like 10. So it's just nice, like, starting the scaling off like this. 
So if you are able to loop MP back to back to back, you can sustain about 60% defense down, but that requires a lot of like just lock parting, which is both quick sweetness and what makes it fun. If you're min turning, it's not fun, but if you're just like chilling and you want to uh, play Gamba, I mean, quick is the car type. Uh, okay. So getting his skills up, um, they're not the worst. Uh, I look at this and I'm like, wow, I actually just burned this shit. Like, okay. So this is where my gallstones went. Uh, when I leveled Satanta, it was like, I still had like mats from a lottery. I still don't have those same mats from the lottery anymore. So it's probably going to take you a while to actually get Satanta up past I would say the proofs. I think that would be like the big hangnail for a lot of people. Um, it's been a minute since we had a lot, a lot of with proofs. Bon CE quick performance up for the party, and then ten percent wild beast power mod to the party while he's on the field. Again, I think Satanta is super solid. Uh spoiler for tier list stuff this buff does not elevate him into a plus uh i know i haven't like done the update for the tier list but tldr this is not enough to like elevate him up a tier this is not enough to put him in iori like iori tier i think satanta is good i think this buff helps and makes him even more solid as a single target quick saber I think he's better than a lot of options like Deer Mode and uh Yeah, like Deer Mode. I think he's like better than Deer Mode. Um but he's not better than a Yori. I like Quick a lot, but this is not the kit. Like this is a hodgepodge of <clears throat> the other versions of Ku. That's I don't think that's a bad thing. But it does like what they show pick and chose. It doesn't make for a universal DPS. It, it just doesn't. It is like it is showing like Ku's strength, the strength of the stuff in his kit across all the characters. But this is not someone I think. If you had a choice between Satanta and Ayori purely for gameplay reasons not because you like the characters we're talking purely gameplay iori is just better his kits his kit is better he has like what he needs Hunter doesn't have a battery despite this this is not a battery you still have to start off with uh have to play around either starting with a k-scope or overcharging uh battery on the first turn or you use some other support that is not Scotty or Oberon on the first turn to get him going. There is just a lot of things playing against Satanta for him to be like EX tier. I still think he is good. Does he compare to five stars? I would not say that. I would probably say Astolfo uh is better than satanta single target quick less said about medusa the better uh i might prefer him more than um okita only because his buffs are three turn literally the only reason is because his buffs are three turn not for like okita just has better like everything for face cards it's just like she's very one done and i hate how shikuchi works i really really hate how they made shikuchi uh function and it's just like it's not it's not my gameplay style so it, it it's a feel thing it's definitely not nearly as much as withering waves how like if you don't like how a character feels you don't feels you don't use them and it's, it's kind of the same with Satanta. if if you're not a fan of some of the other single target quicks try him out 
you might feel better for you but at the same time it's a welfare you have to keep, temper your expectations and yeah uh trying to return to like recording more often uh thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next one peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub hope to see you in the next one peace